Alright, so you're moving from Final Cut Pro over to Premiere Pro and you realize that uh, the audio solution with uh, the Adobe CS5 suite sucks. Um, basically, you have Premiere Pro and Soundbooth uh, CS5 and uh, if you've tried to export a whole sequence from Premiere Pro to Soundbooth, you realize you can't actually do it. Uh, the only thing you can do is click a single audio files and then uh, edit in sound booth or audition uh, which which uh, sucks because if you have a ton of audio files that need editing then you have to do it all separately um, now if you come from a Mac um, background and you work in Final Cut you'll realize that uh, in Final Cut you can export the whole sequence of clips even if there are you know 23 tracks of audio uh, it'll retain those tracks in Soundtrack Pro and you can edit each thing separately, move tracks around to separate tracks, um, etc. And I, I wish this functionality was actually in Premiere Pro, uh, but it isn't. So I found a long workaround. It, it does take some time, but it it gives you this functionality. Um, so I'll, I'll show you how to do that. So in my sequence, you'll notice I have about three minutes worth of animation. Um, or sorry, seven minutes worth of animation as well as, uh, let's see, four audio tracks. And uh, this last one is actually the final, so I'll go ahead and mute that. So I have basically my main voiceover track that has uh, music in it, which is actually caused because of Premiere Pro's lack of um, this feature. <laughs> and uh, then I have also some sound effect tracks. So what you're going to do is essentially export each audio track or the whole sequence multiple times for each track so you'll have one track for or sorry one uh, one file for audio track one one file for audio track two and then you're going to import all of those into sound booth or audition so I'm gonna show you how to do that so when you start out you'll have all these tracks will actually have the speaker um, lit, which means that it isn't muted. So what you're going to do is you're going to mute every track that you don't want to export, except for the one that you do want to export. So I'm just clicking all these off. Uh, the first track I'm going to export is track one, and you can see there is a speaker there uh, showing that it is the only one that will be exported. So now you're going to go up to File, Export, Media, and then your export settings menu pops up. Um, then what you're going to do is go to format and click audio interchange file format or .AIFF. Now this is only going to export your audio as you can see export video is grayed out so you can't actually click that and um, everything looks good. Uh, uncompressed audio you can change the sample rate if you'd like to something higher. Uh, it's up to you and uh, just hit export. Um, before I do that, I'm actually going to change the output name because it creates this generic output name of Animation Final 002, which is the name of my actual composition. So I'm going to change that to what it is and create a folder for this purpose. So I'm going to create an audio folder, click into it, and I'm going to change the name to uh, let's see, whatever this is. So it's Animation, VoiceOver, and uh, Madison is the speaker, and it's her first voiceover. Um, in the series, so I'm going to put 001 and then just click save and export. So that'll take a little bit to export and then what you're going to do is just do that for all the audio tracks moving forward. So you're going to unclick the speaker for track 1 and then click it for track 2 and then do the same thing. File, Export, Media, Everything's already set up. It's at Audio Interchange File Format, or AIFF. You're going to change the output name to, let's see, this is my sound effects uh, track. So I'm just going to do sound effects 001 and click Save and Export. And now I'm going to do that same exact thing for track 3. Export, File Export Media. I'm going to change the output name to Sound Effects. Oops, 002. Um, I don't really remember what that track is for because um, this was, I, I created this composition about a week ago. Um, I'm going to click export and uh, you basically just go through that technique, um, you know, until all your audio files are exported. And uh, then after that, you're going to switch over to Sound Booth. 
So here's Sound Booth, and I'm in a fresh new multi track project. And then what you're going to do is just click File, Import, Files. And then you'll navigate to the folder that you had your audio folder in. I'm already there. And then you'll see my three files right here. So I'll highlight all of them and import. They'll show up in my file menu. And then I'll drag them out uh, one by one into my uh, editor. Now what you'll want to do is drag uh, the files all the way to the left so they're all at 0, 0, 0. and as you can see uh, since it exported the whole composition everything I mean you can see right when this one ends uh, this track actually starts and when uh, when this track ends this third one starts and uh, I, I did that on purpose just to show you that it it will work sequentially so all your stuff will be in time if all the tracks are at 0, 0, 0. And uh, if you want to edit to video, that's also doable. Um, all you have to do is ex uh, export your sequence uh, with the video only. So I'll show you how to do that. Uh, you're going to go to File, Export, Media. And then you're going to choose uh, Format of QuickTime. And then choose, um, you're going to want Export Video Checked and Export Audio Unchecked. So go ahead and uncheck that and uh, just click export. Now I already did this because it, it will take a little bit so I'll, uh, I'll show you how that went. Alright so the video is now finished so now let's go back into sound booth and uh, import it. So you're gonna go file import just like you did the audio files and then now you're gonna find uh, the video which I named animation audio edit and then hit open. Now you can see in your file browser that uh, the media type is a video. All you have to do is drag it out and uh, you'll see it right here at the top and if you scroll through it you can see that you can actually edit to the, uh, the actual video. So you can add sound effects, you can add music, transitions to the audio, anything, effects. Um, so this is basically what working in uh, Soundtrack Pro would be like uh, except you know you have to it's a longer process to get there but it'll work um, so now if you want to do this in audition it's essentially the same process uh, but I'll show you how to do it anyways so let's open up audition uh, it's a fresh new um, file multi-track file so you're gonna do the same thing file import and then you're just gonna import all of your files so mine were three audio files and then this audio edit video file. So I'm going to hit open. Those will show up down here after it imports them. Perfect. And then we're going to drag and drop into the multi track editor. Okay, so now first thing you always have to do is, is move everything to uh, to zero. So um, I, I don't really work in Audition, but to move, you just hit this arrow with the, the move icon, and then you move everything to zero, and including the video. And now if you look right here in this video tab, you can see that you can edit in uh, video as well in here. Let's see, how do you move this? There you go. So there you go. You could do it in uh, Audition, which is a way more powerful uh, program than sound booth or just do it in sound booth um, if you're adding just uh, effects simple effects or um, a, like a simple compressor um, a limiter uh, you know sound effects um, I believe sound booth would be good enough but if you want to actually go with the full sound editor I would do audition um, anyway so there you go that should help you out